Okay, so to start off with, you want to create a new layer and name that layer guides because we are going to be making the shape, the basic shape of the eyebrow here. And we're not going to be using this layer um, later on. So as this eyebrow is going to be really bushy, so that is why I would suggest to make the shape of it really thick. Also, you guys, I'm not going to be speeding up the process uh, because I want you guys to draw with me. I think that's really effective. So, and if you do create something out of my videos, do not forget to follow me on Instagram. I would link it down below so that if you create something, you can tag me on Instagram. So once you have the shape of it, you want to create a new layer just above it and you want to choose the brush called Technical Pen from Ink Ink and the strokes of the eyebrows should look like this as I'm drawing on the screen. So the strokes almost look like a shapeless S. So that's how you, your strokes should be. Now once you have that clear in your mind, just start making those strokes over the shape of the eyebrow that we initially created. Now at first you would just want to randomly put those strokes so that just to fill the whole thing in even if you see a little bit of gap between the strokes. So you don't worry about the gap because we are going to be filling it in with the strokes as well. So uh, yeah and also you want to make sure that your hands are kind of really lightly touching the uh, screen uh, towards the end of the stroke just to make it more pointed i hope that makes sense so at this point what i'm doing is i am just filling in all the gaps with the strokes Now once you're happy with the results, now what you want to do is pick a blending tool and in the blending tool pick up soft airbrush and just decrease the size of the brush up to 2 to 3%. And now here what you want to do is you want to first of all blend the edges of all of the strokes that you created or you filled the eyebrow with. So here what I'm doing is I'm just uh, smudging the uh, edges the starting point and the ending point of the eyebrow stroke and then once I'm done with that what I will do is I would just increase the size of the brush up to 5% and I would go over the stroke the whole stroke just to smoothen that out so just do what I'm doing in the video
Now, once everything is nice and blended, just create a new layer just underneath it and pick up soft air brush and black color. And just increase the size of the brush and just go over and fill it fill the eyebrow in and for that you want to make sure you're just really lightly touching the screen because we barely want the black color to be there now once you are done with the filling in part just put some more of the black color just on the arch of the eyebrow in the tail of the eyebrow and just pick up the blending tool and increase the size of it as well and just blend the shade that we just put in on the arch and on the tail of the eyebrow. Now pick up the eraser tool and erase off the axis. Now again, um, pick up soft airbrush for the eraser as well and just increase the size of it and just barely kind of um, erase the excess colored part. Now, once you're happy with that, create a new layer in between both of the layers that we just created and pick up technical pen again and just draw the hair like strokes once again, focusing on the arch of the eyebrow and the tail of the eyebrow. And this time the strokes should be darker. So you can either turn on, just increase the opacity of the brush or you just press on the screen with a little bit more pressure. I hope that makes sense. Now again, pick up your blending tool and just blend the edges first and go over the strokes as we did initially. Now this step is um, optional so what I'm doing here is I am creating a new layer and I'm picking up technical pen once again but this time I'm just going to decrease the size of it and I'm going to be adding few more strokes over the front part of the eyebrow and just underneath the eyebrow just to make it look more realistic. So underneath the eyebrows I am drawing really short strokes really short in length so just to make it look more bushy and realistic so once you are ready with those strokes just again go ahead with the blending tool but this time make sure the size of the blending tool is also um, small and just blend those out as we did initially I hope you guys can see those little strokes on the screen
and now you are done basically i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please do not forget to give this video a big big thumbs up and also do not forget to subscribe to my channel i post every monday and every thursday and i will see you guys the next time